Those bombs Trump sent, letter bombs, found in the mail. This is uh, <clears throat> October 25th. Draft of letter bombs found in the mail. Hillary Clinton, CNN, everybody got one. Anybody important got one. Anybody who's anybody got a, got a letter bomb, a fake letter bomb. They weren't real letter bombs. Those bombs are meant to be found. Did you know that? The letter bombs to John Brennan and Hillary Clinton and the Obamas, the Clintons. <laughs> Everybody got one. Didn't you get one? What's the matter with you? Aren't, aren't, aren't you speaking up more? Shouldn't you be speaking up more? <laughs> What are you, a nobody? <laughs> How come you didn't get a letter bomb? <laughs> hey, listen, those bombs are meant to be found. You know, I know this is true. Listen, I know what I'm talking about. I used to be a private investigator. I had my own private investigation firm called Intelligence Data. Oh, here's my friend Hudson. Wonder Dog Hudson. Hudson, Hudson, say hi to everybody. Come on, come here, come here. How you doing? My trusty private investigator dog. My bloodhound. <laughs> you can smell anything from, from it. Used to be a drug sniffing dog, didn't you? Used to, used to work for the FBI. <laughs> the drug sniffing dog. That's when I work. That's when I work for him as a psychic. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'll tell you when I'm lying, I'll, but I won't tell you when I'm telling the truth. The next statement is false. First statement is true. <laughs> yeah. My, my little investigator friend. The re reason I know is because I, uh, I used to be a private investigator. And I really enjoyed taking on difficult problems, but they got to be kind of hairy. They got to be scary. Like I specialize in finding missing kids. And it was not a not an enjoyable task, either finding them or not finding them. But I basically developed it. Well, I also was uh, educated in lie detection, took courses in voice stress analysis, had a four thousand dollar voice stress analyzer, detect lies on. Who's lying today? Who's the big liar today? So anyway. I developed this this um, philosophy that if you stick with something long enough, you pretty much find out what any anomaly or or um, what's the word I'm looking for unexplained behavior or phenomena, something that doesn't that doesn't have any explanation for it, like. Um, person who just goes missing. Usually there's an explanation for why the kid's missing if he's, what one of the parents took him, was, was, which was mainly the case in missing children. But anyway, the point I'm trying to get to is that I developed a, what I would regard as something of a discerning eye about stuff like that. If you look at those the addresses on those packages, the way those packages with the, uh, the bombs in them that were, that were sent to everybody but you, <laughs> oh god sometimes i crack myself up i'm sorry but if you look at those labels come on i mean they're so fake i mean that, the whole package might as well have this is a bomb written on it i mean the lettering is kind of corny and intentionally misspelled you're intentionally made to look kind of crude but you know it's a big lumpy package in manila in a manila envelope <laughs> Heavy manila package. Address to Hillary Clinton from someplace in Florida. Oh, that's the other thing <laughs> from Debbie Wasserman Schultz. I mean, it's a gag, right? It's a gag. It's a joke. And who would send it but a joker like Donald Trump? Came from Florida. I mean, it's too sophisticated in its obvious crudity to be taken seriously. I mean, but look, look at the effect is, gets everybody shaking in their boots. 
Sweating bullets, sweating blood. Oh, we're going to blow up. Somebody's going to send me a letter bomb. Yeah, but the effect is it is it sends a ripple of fear through everybody. So everybody's scared now. Do you think I might get one for saying something about saying something mean about Donald to Donald Trump? I might get one. I'm going to shut up. <laughs> I'm going to shut up. I'm not going to tell anybody anything. I'm just going to put my hand under the sand and wait till every till it's safe to come out again. <laughs> He's got his opponents turning to him for help. Do you get it? Do you understand? His opponents are now turning have to turn to him. The, the top authority in the country, chief executive officer, giver of the law, have to turn to him for protection. Who's to protect him? The FBI. Who runs the FBI? Donald Trump, figuratively speaking, except when it's after him. Except when it's after him. Mark my word. This is this is, this is true. You're being we're being played like for suckers. Don't give in to the fear. There's nothing to fear but fear itself. Remember that. Isn't that right, Hudson? Hudson agrees. Tell everybody you agree. Come here. Smile. Smile. Yeah. Just remember this. I love you. I love you very much. I love you best of all.